Okay, this is the Game is on 100 here with the video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the reason why John Cena needs to be WWE Champion again. Uh, let's get started. Um, my feeling is the reason why John Cena needs to be WWE Champion once again is to put over the next guy in the WWE. The WWE has been doing that route for years and years and years. I don't know how many years that the WWE always done that is to put the top guy in the main event with the title to put over the next guy to run with the ball. I'm talking about when it was with Hulk Hogan back in the day and all the other guys who held the WWF title at that time that it went to them and vice versa. I know you fans would complain about John Cena being WWE Champion again. That John Cena doesn't need to be WWE Champion. But right for business, John Cena needs to be WWE Champion to put over the next face of the WWE. That's the only reason... Why, did, why John Cena needs to be WWE Champion is for that reason. Because WWE wants to make a new face of the WWE. Vince McMahon, before he retires, wants to make a new face of the WWE before he um, steps down and gives the reins to Triple H and Stephanie. So it looks like that Ryback is going to maybe be the person to be the guy for the WWE. He can't be the guy. He's a Vince McMahon type of guy. I know all you guys, all you internet fans, all you smart mark fans only look at the wrestling part as just for pure wrestling ability. You guys look at the technical aspect of wrestling. You guys want to go that route. But you got to have the overall package in order to be over. And right now, Ryback is getting over right now with the fans. And it's only proper fitting for Ryback, if it's going to be Ryback, that at WrestleMania 30, have John Cena face Ryback for the WWE title at WrestleMania 30. And have Ryback defeat John Cena at that time, at WrestleMania for the title, the Ryback will get launched. Just like what Hogan did for the Warrior and the WWE did for him. Because if you would go that route, you're an upcoming star. You go to you go to the biggest event of the year. You are in the main event of the biggest show of the year. You go in and challenge the champ, challenge the number one guy in the company. And you win. At that time, you will get launched. There was nothing more than what the WWE can do to make Ryback right to be launched into the net superstar. Like what the WWE did back in 1990 with the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior got put on the map at WrestleMania 6. He was put on the map. That night. Hogan made. The ultimate warrior that night. If that would happen. If Ryback would defeat John Cena. John Cena would make. Ryback. To be the next guy. Of the WWE. That is my. Explanation. Is to the reason why John Cena needs to be. The WWE champion again. For this to happen. It will be the perfect time. And the right right moment in time to have it at, at a WrestleMania to have a new face of the WWE and that be Ryback and John Cena can uh, can not be the focus as much because the WWE is worried about John Cena's health and uh, I can see understand why with his health why he keeps saying he's getting injured more and uh, they don't probably want to use him a lot more. Just keep him around to do like sparingly do working. Maybe have him working uh, part time. Probably not doing house shows. But he will be appearing on 
on Raws and sparingly on pay-per-views would be good. John Cena will still be around, but he won't be like be the main focus for the WWE. That is the only reason why I would have John Cena be WWE champion again is for that reason. That has to happen, people. And you got to understand the WWE is a business. And the WWE knows when they what they need to do in order to make money. And with that, they will make all the fans happy. I know all you guys will complain about Cena being the WWE Champion, but there is a logical explanation for that. When Hogan lost the WWE title in 1988, he had to go do the movie No Holds Barred, and there was a champion of uh, Randy Savage was given the belt. He had a good run with the WWE Championship. Until Hogan came back at WrestleMania 5, he got the title back and he kept it for an entire year before dropping it to the Warrior. This needs to happen for John Cena. Give John Cena one more good one year run with the WWE title and have him drop the title to the Nets up and coming face, the new face of the WWE. And that's how the WWE always done business that way. That's how they always got. Their net superstar to get launched into being the net's face of the WWE. By that. So with that in regards. That is my reason why John Cena needs to be WWE champion. So anyways. This is the Game is on 100. I am out later.